Hello, my name is John P. Higgins. This would be a quick tutorial on how to use the CAD MDT system for the California Department of Justice Roleplay Server. To get started, go to the cadogrp.com website. Once you're on our forums, you will click on the CAD MDT link at the top of the screen. Once you do that, you'll be brought to the login screen. If you have not created an account, simply select create an account, add a name, email, and password for your account, and select submit. If you've already created an account, you can simply enter your email and password and then log in. This account is separate from the one on the forums. Once you've logged in, you'll be brought to the main landing page. From here, click on my account. Here you'll be able to add your identifiers. Click on the new identifier section and type in whatever you wish your identifier to be, and then click on the plus symbol next to that. You can remove existing unit numbers by clicking on the red trash can. Once you've made your changes, make sure you click save and then return home. From here, you will click on the patrol tab and then select civilian operations. Select the server that you'll be joining in 5M and then select your identifier. After hitting continue, you'll be brought to the character selection screen. If you've not created a character, click on add new to create a new character. Here you will add your civilian's personal information such as their name, date of birth, gender, address, race, hair color, weight, and height. Make sure this information matches your character's description in the actual game. You can also add a mugshot for your character, but it is not a necessity. Once you've added all the information, click on Create. You'll be brought back to the Select Character screen. Simply select your character, and you'll be brought to the main splash screen. Here you have the options for the DMV, Bureau of Firearms, Switch Character, Edit Info, and Tow CAD. When you click on DMV, you have the options to register your vehicle, Manage Registered Vehicles, Report Stolen Vehicles, and Driver's License Center. We'll start with the Driver's License Center as this part is probably the most important part. Once you click there, you will notice that your default will be No License Status. Make sure that you select Valid, Expired, or Suspended from these available options. Once you do so, you will notice the status will change as well as your information being populated on the ID. If you wish to RP scenarios in which your license is expired or suspended, you can make those changes here. For now, we're just going to set it as valid. Click on the small blue arrow, and we'll be returned back to the DMV page. The next step would be to register your vehicle. Once you spawn in the vehicle, you can edit its license plate in the game. Make sure that the license plate matches the plate that is in the system. In this case, we're just going to type license plate that is less than eight characters long, the model of the car, and then its color. You can also add the option of not having insurance if you wish to RP that scenario. Once you've done that, simply hit register and the vehicle will show up in your manage registered vehicles section. Here you are able to edit or delete your existing vehicles from your DMV system. You can also report stolen vehicles here. To return back to the main splash screen at any time, you can simply click outside the border of the current tab. This will bring you back to the main screen and you can select a different tab. Right now we will go to the Bureau of Firearms. Simply click there and go to register firearm. Here you will select the model of the firearm, we'll select the heavy revolver, and select register. When you do so, you'll get a certificate which shows the firearm registered as well as the registration ID or serial number. Simply click on the small arrow and you'll be returned to the submenu where you can view your own firearms. If you wish to report stolen ones, you can do so here. Again, we're going to click outside of the tab to bring us back to the splash menu. If you wish to switch your character or add a new one, simply click on switch character. This will bring you back to the select character screen. 
You can select edit info to change your character's personal information after you've created one. Simply hit save when you're done and you'll be brought back to the splash screen. Select tow cat if you wish to be in the tow system and select in service and then you can advertise in the server that you are an active towing service. Just make sure you hit out of service when you're done and select log out to be brought back to the splash screen. Once you're done playing, you can simply click log out or close the tab. If you choose to log out, it'll be brought back to the main landing page. Here you can log out or simply close the tab as well. One recommendation I would have would be to open the CAD inside of the Steam browser so that you can simply hit shift tab to open up your CAD system. This will allow you to still be able to hear players in the game while you are browsing around in the CAD. I hope this tutorial was useful. My name is John P. Higgins, and I hope to see you sometime in the server. Have a good day.